Hello, my name is Tim Ansky, and I'm going to show an example of using the Easy Graph to create graphs for assignments and for uh, tests and quizzes in the Mixed Problem Review. If you go to a link under Week 5, Assignment 1 Discussion Board, if you click on there, uh, it'll take you to the page where you'll see the button where it says Easy Graph. This will launch the uh, program to help you graph equations. A couple windows are going to pop up. Uh, first thing it's going to do is going to ask for your name. Just type in your name. So, like, for example, my name is Tim Mansky, so I'm going to type in Tim Mansky. Um, you can set the parameters of your x-axis and y-axis. So, for example, let's say I wanted to change the interval from, say, negative 20 to 20. Let's say negative 20 to 20. Now, if I change the axis, sometimes the program will tell you you need to adjust the interval on the axis. Right now it's set at 1, so let's try that and see what happens. Uh, they did take it, so that was good. Um, once your interval has been set and the range of your x-axis and y-axis set, then what you can do is you could uh, graph an equation. So let's just take an example. Let's say, okay, I'll start a new one here. Um, so let's say, for example, let's so use an equation. Let's say we're going to use the equation y equals uh, 2x plus uh, 3. Um, let's just take this as an example. We can use what's called the slope-intercept form where I can identify the slope of the equation. The slope of the equation is 2 or 2 over 1. The y-intercept is going to be 0 comma 3. Now, this is just an example. There's, in greater detail, can explain why this is, but this is just to illustrate this exam. This tutorial is just illustrating the graphing program. But if I have an equation written in slope-intercept form, uh, the number in front of the x is your slope, which is two, which also could be written as two over one. The constant that's being added to the term two x, the three here. That is the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. Y-intercept always has an x-coordinate of 0, and the y-coordinate is 3. So just using this as an example, um, I would go over to the point tool. And I want to click on that button. Now we said that the y-intercept was 0, 3. So using the target here, you can go to that point, 0, 3, and you can plot it. Now, if I'm using the equation y equals 2x plus 3, my equation okay, has a slope of 2, which means that I would go up 2 units because the slope's positive, and you go to the right one, and then you plot a point. And then you keep going in that order. So in other words, the slope is telling you that the line is going up two and over one. And you can use the dotted lines to kind of line up your um, your coordinates. So the slope 2 over 1 describes the behavior of the line, which means that it's going up 2 units, 
and it's going over one. So I keep doing that. I go up to and then over one. And of course, take your time. It's not a race. Up to. over one. How many times do I need to do this, you might ask. Uh, you can do this as many times as you feel is necessary. A minimum of two. A minimum of two would be essential. But you can see here I can plot. And again, obviously you want to make the line as accurate as possible. Once you've plotted at least two points. Then you want to do is you want to go back over to the line tool, which is underneath the uh, the point tool. So you want to click on the line. What I would recommend is start at one point and then left click. So on your mouse you're going to left click and hold on that button and then just drag with your mouse or your keypad you're going to draw a line through the points. Now again if you notice, again my, my accuracy of each of the points isn't perfect. Well you want to draw a line through all the points. Now remember that a line is going to be going across the entire grids. In other words, you have, if you need to, like what I usually do, there's probably a better way to do this, but what I generally do is I'll, I'll draw a second line. Again, what you want to do here is, you now you see here, left click and hold using the line tool. Uh, you see this angle right here you want to have those lines overlap so you want to minimize the error and you can kind of watch that distance between 0, 3, and 1, 5. You know, just do the best you can and then release and so that will be the line of the equation y equals 2x plus 3. You can you could put some additional information on here. You have a text button. I'm just checking how much time I got left here. Um, so you can do text button. What I recommend um, Uh, you could put in this, let's say this is question, uh, section, uh, let's say 3.1, number 950. Let's say that's the equation, and then you write the equation y equals 2x plus 3, and then you could say the slope. You can tell the grader or the reader that, you know, what's what's the information. The slope is 2 over 1. Uh, the y <coughs> intercept is uh, 0, 3. So you can tell. And then if you want to put your name on there, you know, that's helpful too. But put the question uh, number, put the section number, put the, you know, the equation there. So it's all ready now when you're done there's going to be a button where you're going to save your work so save and of course you want to store it somewhere that you can find it yes you just click OK and you'll need to recall it later so I'm teaching the math course um, you know and I'll put it into a folder you know let's say I'll put it in week five All right, so I'll make a folder, and then I'll put another folder there. 
in here. And then let's put, you know, something relevant. Let's say is put section 3.1 number 950 so that people know what it is. So. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Um, uh, please, if you have any questions, contact me. Otherwise, I uh, look forward to hearing from you. Uh, please take care and have a nice day.